Today, I'm gonna to help you get prepared for an interview by helping you answer one of the most difficult questions that you might receive during that said interview. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions and I'm here to help. And today we are helping by giving you a really big, huge tip into answering this question during an interview process. And that question is kind of going to be different depending on where uh, you're interviewing for, what type of business it is, because what they're going to ask you is how you troubleshoot something. How do you troubleshoot when a computer won't connect to the internet? How do you troubleshoot when a printer isn't printing? How do you troubleshoot when your software doesn't work properly? That is kind of a broad example right there of what you will receive. And it doesn't matter what the actual question is. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. The reason why the question really doesn't matter is because you as a person can go through every possible answer to that question in your head. And if you give them one answer, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. They don't want one answer. That is the biggest thing that you should take away from this video. They want your thought process into how you would actually troubleshoot that. You know, take every single scenario that you have in your head on why your printer isn't printing or why your computer isn't connecting to the internet and give them every single example that you can think of as to why this isn't working. That is what they wanna know. They want to know how you think. That is clutch right there. Knowing that simple fact, that simple idea, will greatly help you during an interview process when you get that question. Of course, one of your answers could be wrong, and there's nothing wrong with being wrong, but, if you give them multiple examples of how you would fix it, that is really what matters. Because you're not gonna know everything, and that's okay. It's okay that you don't know everything. Nobody knows everything in the IT world. So don't think because you may have given the wrong answer that you're immediately ruled out. Hopefully, during that thought process you had, you gave multiple right answers, right? But the worst thing that you can do, going back, repeating myself again, is giving one answer. So I hope this helps you during your interview process. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for other people that, that you know they can follow during their interview process, leave a comment below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. As always, take it easy.